about from a turn-of-the-year problem, spring cleaning of unwanted pits. Activists say it's an annual issue and the numbers are not going down. This pair of kittens was abandoned at the corridor of an HDB flat with their mother, while their irresponsible owner went on a long holiday. Former house cat Leslie was found trolling the streets of Angmo Kyo, and timid Blackjack left to fend for himself at a coffee shop in Yishun. 150 cats abandoned in three months from November to January, and these were just the cases that were reported to the Cat Welfare Society, so the real numbers are likely to be higher. Some lucky ones were rescued by volunteer Penny Tan. Many others never make it to a foster's home. They can be bullied, they can be attacked by the other cat, the older cats, and on the community cats, the stray cats. And now once they suffer on the ground, you know, once they attack, nobody take care of their wound, whatever, that will, they will build up the, the, the maggots, maggots on the body. If nobody still to take care, they will die. They will quietly, you know, uh, go into the drain and die. Volunteers say abandonment happens throughout the year, but there's a noticeable surge during the festive season. That's where we start getting reports, you know, um, that a whole family has been abandoned, one or two cats have been abandoned, and it just keeps coming because people are overloaded. The penalty for pet abandonment or abuse is up to $10,000 a year in jail or both. And activists are pushing for this to be doubled. However, tracing irresponsible pet owners is a big challenge. A uh, number of suggestions came up in the Chongpong Animal Welfare Forum, which is to you know, make sure that uh, the uh, pet shops, are, their licensing framework is enhanced and uh, microchipping is done up front so that you know exactly which pet goes to whom and uh, traceability is there. Getting Singaporeans to come forward hasn't been easy either. They will grouse about what has happening, why are there so much abandonment, but when they are called to be the one to come forward to make a testimony, then they will say, no, oh, actually it's not my problem. Changes on the horizon for animal welfare law in Singapore, with a review underway for the past one year. But for these little critters on the adoption list, the more immediate concern is finding a new, permanent home. Former Minister Mentor Lee Kuan Yew is out of hospital and resting at home. He was admitted to Singapore General Hospital on Friday after a suspected transient ischemic.